Culinary is not just cooking, it's the hospitality industry, which is not just food service, it could be anything to do with tourism. We could talk about like, like event planning, things to do with weddings. So even if you're not gonna be directly in the kitchen cooking food, you're going to be using those skills in like your other aspects of your life. Well, I always heard good things about this culinary program when I got here, and it was always really fun. You gotta have a lot of food. You gotta learn how to make a lot of food. Not only are we having like fun in this class, we're also learning how to be safe and learning different useful techniques to help us in our future. Just being able to work in a kitchen like this, because I know not a lot of people get to have like clash of this size. Well, I used to cook with my mom a lot. I just wanted to learn more about cooking and what like I can learn like technique wise. You do learn like all the basics, cutting, uh, you learn every method of cooking in this class. Culinary One's gonna be like just an introduction to cooking. Um, we start off with sanitation and all the things you need to do to like actually work in a professional kitchen. Then from there, it's gonna be some of the technical skills you need. Um, we start going like knife cuts. Uh, the vocabulary that's used in the kitchen is gonna be like very, very important. So like the different equipment we use, get you familiar with that, how to use those things. And then two, we kind of expand on that. And then we start to get into like baking. And then in three, we try to focus on the catering components of it as if you are going to go, really actually go into that as your career field and try to empower the students to like actually lead a crew. I would love to start a catering business on the side just for fun. My family, we're Puerto Rican, so we always cook Puerto Rican food. I just want to share that food with everyone. So a food handler's card is what allows you to actually cook in this class. And if you don't, get, if you don't have that by the time we actually start cooking, you can't cook. Uh, the next one is a management card, which you usually get for like a manager's position at any fast food place. When they go to a restaurant and their chef tells them like, oh, I want you to grab a camera and put this in there, they should know what these things are. We have a lot of different types of like, we have like mixers, um, we are going to have, we have sous vide machines, we have your basics like, like ovens and stove tops and flat grills and regular grills. We have all like the restaurant, I mean level, Stuff. So when I took it, I only thought I was going to take one and two, but I really fell in love with culinary, so I decided to take year three. So we get lots of hands-on learning with going through baking and assembly lines, also with different cutting techniques. Probably my favorite dish I made in here was our pork medallions. So you take a pork tenderloin, you sear it first, and then you bake it, and, that's, and then just cut it up into small chunks. It's very simple and it's really good. And the moment is very chaotic, but in the end, the food is so good. So it's definitely doable for anyone.